All right, what is up? Um, oh, long day yesterday. Uh, I was on the plane for a total of about 10 hours. Got into my spot here about uh, 2 a.m. Eastern time. Met up with my coach and uh, basically we, man, we talked until probably 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern. So it's 7.45 right now. I've literally had two hours and 45 minutes of sleep, but uh, I have arrived, as you can tell, not in my house. I am in Florida. So, so this is my view from the balcony. Got the pool down there. Coach is right over that way, but uh, man, um, yeah. So, decided to take a trip to Florida. Um, Jacqueline didn't come uh, only because uh, it's kind of a, I don't want to say in and out trip, but uh, she probably just wouldn't have fun. Um, so like I was saying, sorry, battery died. Uh, Jacqueline didn't come only because the itinerary that I have lined up, um, it, it just kind of, I fly, I flew in late slash early and then, uh, literally have had about two hours of sleep. Uh, very excited because I'm going to train with, uh, somebody today. So Skip, who I came to visit. Also just to see Florida, I've never been to Florida, wanted to go. But anyway, Jacqueline was excited for me to come and it's just something for me to kind of relax, clear my head after uh, prep. Um, I wish she was here. I'm sure that uh, she would like to be here. Um, but it's just kind of a, I flew in all day Thursday. It's now Friday. Uh, I leave Monday at like 6 a.m. So just for her, it, it's not her idea of a vacation. I'm hitting the Redcon 1 gym uh, tomorrow, Saturday, which will be really good. And then obviously we plan on hitting some good food spots. When I say we, I mean me. And then I'm gonna be loading uh, with Skip on Sunday. So I get a walk through a load with the man himself that invented it. And so just a lot of really cool things lining up and I'm excited to be here. But uh, man, look at this view. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go hit some fasted cardio and then I'm headed to the grocery store and then we are gonna go train in Miami. Just got back from the store. Breakfast is done. We have a steak, egg, and cheese sandwich. So we have about six ounces of steak six ounces of egg whites and some fat-free cheese, just so you guys can kind of see that there. And then also picked up this spicy kimchi. This is by far the best kimchi I have ever had. Wish I could find this back in uh, Salem, but also been on this, uh, what is it, Mountain Dew Rise? Been on a kick for this for a while. If you guys haven't had a chance, give it a shot. It does have about 25 calories in it. It's got like five grams of um, carbs. So it's nothing that I've had on prep, but it's actually pretty good. It tastes like Mountain Dew, Baja Blast kind of mixed with a little bit of juice. And then last but not least, getting back on my naked naked juice kick. I probably won't drink this whole thing. It's got 60 grams of carbs in it. I do plan on having a pretty intense training day. I woke up a little bit late for me. You no, know, it's nine o'clock here. It's about six o'clock back home. Jet lag hasn't really had an effect yet, but we'll see. Um, I'm typically up about five or six in the morning anyway. Running off like two hours of sleep, so good thing I picked up a few of these. But yeah, today will be a highly caffeinated day. So I'm gonna eat this meal and then we're gonna get ready to train. All right, so I'm pulling up to the gym right now. And part of the reason I came out to Florida was to hang out with my coach, but also to uh, train with my coach. And a couple of days before I came, he had already had an injury. Um, so he wasn't sure if he'd be able to train or not. And then lo and behold, uh, he messages me and says, hey, um, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to train. My legs just not feeling better. So I had to settle for training with IFBB Pro Brandon Hendrickson, two-time Olympia champ, and that's who I'm meeting right now. So so excited. Uh, yeah, uh, couldn't couldn't have planned it any better. 
long story short, I reached out to Brandon, said, hey bro, I'm sure you probably get hit up all the time on this, but I'm flying out from the West Coast. I was supposed to train with my coach. He can't train. Uh, what would it look like to train with you? He hit me back up, said this is what it would be. I said, bet. So we are training at Elevation Gym with Brandon Hendrickson and I probably won't bring the camera in because this is one of those things I wanna just experience. But I will do my best to get some photos and it's gonna be a good time. So I can't fucking wait, let's go. All right, it's about 11.50. I've uh, been hanging out with Skip since like eight <laughs> and it was so funny, we're sitting there just BS and he's like, you hungry? I was like, yeah, I've only eaten like twice today. He goes, yeah, pretty much me too. I think I had one meal. What sounds good? I was like, I don't know, pizza? He's like, yeah, I could do pizza. How hungry are you? I was like, pretty hungry. Orders two large pizzas, some chicken strips, and some other stuff, and we put a lot of it down. And I was like, man, I kinda want some ice cream. Is that Sloan's place open? He's like, yeah, I think they're open till midnight. So I walked down there, got there just in time, got this. It's kinda melty now. Um, Cookie dough on the bottom, cookie on top, cookie on bottom, and carrot cake. And I was like, yep, I, I think this should do it. So I'm gonna eat this. I might eat something else, but I'll probably just eat this. And then I'm taking my ass to sleep because it's midnight here. We got Redcon tomorrow, so I'm super excited for that. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Day two is always the hardest. I think that's when the time adjustment sets in. Uh, I went to bed at, I think, 1 a.m. East Coast time, which typically would be 10 o'clock my time, so about my normal time. Right now it's 8 a.m., but definitely feeling a little bit of the lag today. I'm about to walk and go get some coffee and come back, start cooking breakfast, and just kind of hang until it is time to head down to Boca Raton, which is about a 30-minute drive, which is where the Redcon facility is. Uh, we're going to train back today. I'm gonna go get changed and let's get some bean water. You're just sitting down for meal one, keeping it very simple. It is two packets of low sugar, instant cinnamon brown sugar oatmeal. We have two chicken cutlets. Ugh, the Publix here is stupid expensive, so um, a pound of chicken was $5.99 a pound. In Oregon, I probably could have got six pounds of chicken for the same price I paid for this one. Nonetheless, we have two chicken cutlets, about six ounces of chicken, uh, two whole eggs, and then a tablespoon of guacamole. So just a little bit of fats, but really high protein and some carbs. And then my naked juice, um, I'm only gonna drink half of this because it's about 70 grams of carbs in the whole bottle. So I'll split this between this meal and the second meal. And then of course, one of my favorite energy drinks are these ice. These are one of my favorite go-to energy drinks. They don't have all the extra stuff in them. And that's something I recommend. But before I dig in, just wanted to give some recommendations. Anytime you stay, so I used to travel a lot for work and it's hard to pack around everything you need when it comes to cooking sprays and you know uh, condiments and all this and that and i found that there's really only three things that you need when you travel four things that i recommend three main ones number one sweet and spicy mustard this is the absolute best mustard you will ever find you can put it on literally everything so if there's one condiment outside of hot sauce that I recommend, it's this. You can put that on anything. The second thing is hot sauce. I actually use this kind of as both a seasoning or a base and as a hot sauce. And then number three is pink sea salt. These are three things that I recommend. And honestly, I think the sea salt was like $1.50, the hot sauce was $1.50, and the mustard was $2. So you're looking at $5. And then these are always nice to pick up too, these little flavor pouches. Just makes it easier to drink water. So those are my travel tip. I'm going to throw on some YouTube and eat this meal. And then we're gonna hang out for a little bit and then get ready to uh, go train. All right, we have arrived. We are at the Redcon One Gym. Super excited, I'm here in Boca Raton. 
uh, training some back. Good morning. It is Sunday. Sorry for the raspy voice. Uh, I think I left or I slept with uh, my mouth open again. <clears throat> Actually, I know I did. My sleep app told me I was snoring quite a bit. Probably because Skip and I went in and grabbed some food last night. And then we were both like, man, we're kind of hungry. So I had brought him out um, like a half dozen Keek Streets. So we came back and we were just chatting and BSing and ate some of those, ate some ice cream, and then I was still really hungry because that was only the third meal I think I had had for the day. So there was some leftover pizza from the other night, so I came back and basically put that to rest. It was like four slices. So uh, today is Sunday, so typically it would be my load day as well as Skip's load day. But being that uh, I haven't really started the off season yet, I don't have a reason to fully load. So I'm gonna make a quick uh, little bagel breakfast sandwich and some oats here. And then I think in about two and a half, three hours, we're gonna go grab brunch and then just probably hang out, walk around, check a few things out. Uh, I have to get some cooking done for the trip home tomorrow. And then probably, you know, maybe grab food a little bit later, and then uh, just kind of relax today. Last few days have been all the visiting and the going and the checking things out, uh, Redcon and Miami and <clears throat> all that good stuff, which is awesome. It's been so much fun. But uh, today's just gonna be kind of low key. I'm gonna make some breakfast real quick, and then uh, we are probably have to, well, I'm gonna make some breakfast and just chill, and then we'll see what we get into from there. <laughs> 